a sickly sweet scent floods this tiny room. That's the collodion, which is the mix of gun cotton, alcohol, and ether. Reminding me of high school chem lab. This, for me, has been the most addictive thing I've done in photography. In a practical world where cell phone selfies are replacing formal portraits, Victoria photographers Quinton Gordon and partner Diana Miller thrive on the impractical, producing not only stunning images, but one-of-a-kind works of art. Start with raw materials, and 15 minutes later, you have a finished photograph in your hand. Today's cameras can shoot at one eight thousandths of a second, so why bother with 1850s technology? That impracticality, to some degree, has been part of its renaissance of, you know, the demand of kind of skill. And I think from a photographer's point of view, the, the, the love of actually sort of working in something that is not just unique, but that demands attention and skill uh, and craft. That craft was born in 1826, perfected by Frederick Scott Archer with the advent of the collodion wet plate process in 1851. That created a bonding agent for silver nitrate and in combination it created a photosensitive material. But for the process to work, the photo plates, glass or tin, need to be wet. You start with a blackened plate, coat it with the collodion. Immersion in silver nitrate bonds the compounds together, creating a light-sensitive material. This is done in the darkroom. The light energy that has to strike the plate has to come from the blue into the UV end of the spectrum, So, which is why we can work under orange lights, because it's not at all sensitive to that. The tin plate then goes into the camera's plate holder, ready to shoot. Perfect. The camera's shutter opens, exposing the plate. It's then on to develop it but all this must happen quickly. Got a working window of somewhere between five and 15 minutes before the plate dries out, hence wet plate photography. But the real magic happens here. Across town at Tony's portrait studio, Julie creates old time pictures. Smile. Her clients dress the part, digital images emailed instantly, a mock memory from a different age. But Quinton says that during the U.S. Civil War, photographers set up battlefield dark rooms. The tin plates crafted were then mailed to loved ones. In many cases, the final image of a doomed soldier. Back at Lou's studio, Quinton and Diana turn the original wet plate process on its head. They've modernized it. Instant exposures because of strobe are unheard of in this process. That even in itself, the ability to capture a momentary expression is not traditional in collodion at all. Usually you're dealing with exposures of several seconds, so it's a very different feel. So our interest is using a historical process, but to bring that into a contemporary visual language and make modern images with the characteristics that this process has. Their image plates become part of the art itself. Their unique landscapes and portraits sell worldwide. Collector's items. I have a love of the object, right? Of, of making something that is a little bit more unique, that has something of the artist in it. Each plate is an original, a one of one. The borders, the edges, the exposure itself can't be duplicated. You can have an object in your world in a way that something on a screen isn't. It can exist peripherally, which I think actually attracts people as well. And all you've used is a little bit of precious metal and water, essentially. It's hard to beat that in terms of the excitement of doing it. An excitement that enticed others to join their workshops to learn the process as well. The development of the plate is actually one of the most sort of time sensitive and in some ways skill sensitive aspects of it, getting the developer to flow quickly and evenly over the plate and not overdevelop it. And that time changes depending on, again, temperature and humidity conditions, so. Usually 10 to 15 seconds. The solitary likeness is captured quickly with light and released slowly by water and chemical. Once it's rinsed off, the plate is actually light safe at that point. The final process happens next. I was quite well aware of a lot of other historical or alternative processes, but I didn't really understand this and was absolutely hooked immediately. The fixer magically transforms the smoky image into art. It has 
a luminosity and a dimensionality that is unmatched in anything else. And it was captivating, absolutely captivating. A moment captured with light and liquid, long before our digital age. In Victoria, I'm Paul Bilestein.